Let us hear from the Word of God, from Hebrews 10, 11 through 25. Every priest goes to work at the altar each day, offers the same old sacrifices year in, year out, and never makes a dent in the sin problem. As a priest, Christ made a single sacrifice for sins and that, and then it was paid. Then he sat right down beside God and waited for his enemies to cave in. It was a perfect sacrifice by a perfect person to perfect some very imperfect people. <clears throat> by that single offering, he did everything that needed to be done for everyone who takes part in the purifying process. The Holy Spirit confirms this. This plan I'm making with Israel isn't going to be written on paper, isn't going to be chiseled in stone. This time, I'm writing out the plan in them, carving it in on the lining of their heart. He concludes, I'll forever wipe the slate clean for their sins. Once sins are taken care of for good, there's no longer any need to offer sacrifices for them. So friends, we can now, without hesitation, walk right up to God into the holy place. Jesus has cleared the way by the blood of his sacrifice, acting as our priest before God. The curtain into God's presence is his body. So let's do this, full of belief, confident that we are presented, presentable inside and out. Let's keep a firm grip on the promises that keep us going. He always keeps his word. Let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging love and helping out, not avoid worshiping altogether as some do, but spurring each other on, especially as we see the big day approaching. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen.